I've had this world for 1,400 Minecraft days, and I still don't have an iron farm, which means we don't have a lot of iron, really. So in this episode, we're going to build an iron farm, and I'm going to build it right here in my ocean of farms, specifically next to the bamboo farm, which looks a bit glitched right now. But guys, I've done quite a lot of stuff off camera. First of all, you're probably wondering, why are there villages in here? Well, there's a bit of a story to that. So. I was just doing a netherite stream, I came up to put the netherite mine in the chest and I came in here and most of my, not all of my villagers, but a couple of my villagers were dead so all of these ones here were dead. I did replace a couple but like yeah. A couple of them turned into zombie villagers, I tried to cure them as I was curing them. Mr. Iron Golem over here, wherever he is, came over and started whacking him and he just died so I was like oh. But yeah, I've read some and yeah, that, yeah. I'll fix it between this episode and next. The thing that I did off camera, well one of the things I did was in here. So I've made this place look even cooler. Up here we have a load of dragon heads, which I just think look insane up there. And I've also just placed a bunch of heavy calls, which we got from last episode. And if you haven't watched last episode, I'd highly encourage you to watch that episode because it was pretty good. It was very funny and it was also quite sad because if you have watched it, as you guys know, my brother did die. I also did some notch apples in here. Let's take revenge on this iron golem for killing my villagers. Never mind, he dodged it. The next thing I did was I extended this storage room. So I have a bunch of spare chests now. And I've also sorted out these music discs chests because I had Sony music discs. So yeah. I also crafted every single banner pattern. Alright, but before we do start building the iron farm, I'm going to smelt this ancient debris I have in here. Which is three, nearly three stacks, by the way. Like, that is insane. Alright, and now I've smelt all the ancient debris. Let's turn it on to 47 neverite ingots. And let's craft five more blocks of neverite. That is three neverite streams worth of neverite right there. That was a lot of rights as well. One, two, three, four, five. We are so close to complete like the first proper layer. All right, but now let's grab all the materials we need to start building this giant iron farm. So the plan is, I'm just gonna build a giant iron block like this, but on top of like a sand block in the ocean. But we are gonna need some more terracotta and white concrete. That probably will be enough gravel. And that's not enough sand. All right, let's grab some materials. First of all, a lot of ink sacks. And you know what, I think it's time we do something down here real quick. I'm going to craft a conduit. I literally have no prismarine hardly, so I'm going to go quickly to a ocean monument. And I'm just going to mine a bunch of blocks in here. Alright, and I think all of that will do. So let's get building this. There we go, and let's get to this. And boom! We can breathe. Anyway, back to killing the squids. Alright, and I think a stack in 24 will be in this now. I think now all I'm gonna do is plan out like where the outline of this iron block will be. Now normally I'd build like a full like sand block or grass block underneath it. But because it's gonna be like the iron block is obviously a full block, you're not gonna be able to see what's underneath it. So I'm just gonna build like this kind of part here. And just like the creeper and sugar cane, there's a 48 block gap in between them. Because each pixel is a 3x3 three three square and a full block would mean that is 48 blocks. So I'm gonna count out 48 blocks in this direction. Then we can start building like the sand block outline. And that is 48 blocks, which means right here will be the start of the sand block. By the end of the video, the iron block will be sitting on top of a sand block just like this. Except there won't be, you can't see any of this underneath, like the water. I'm just gonna build this line of pixels up here. Alright, but let's build this sand block. Okay guys, so I've got half of the sand block done, but I'm completely out of terracotta. So that is the next material that we're gonna go and grab. And after mining a bunch of terracotta, I thought I might as well just start mining some sand as well. Alright, and I think I have everything we need, so let's continue building the sand block. And there we go, the sand block is now built. So now we've got to build a giant iron block on top of this. And I'm going to use four blocks to make it, and that's going to be light grey concrete, white concrete, grey concrete, and cyan terracotta. Now I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but let's just start building. Okay, and I think that's going to be the height of the iron block.
Okay guys, and there we go, the first side of the iron block is built. It may look a little bit bad, kind of. I mean like it definitely needs a bit more texturing I think. Or like the white bit. I'm gonna add some just normal white concrete powder into like there and just detail it a little bit. You you'll see it at the end of the video. I don't wanna do it now because if I like place water and it spills down and turns back into concrete and it'll just be annoying to change it over and over and over again. We still have three other sides to build so <laughs> let's get building. Okay guys, and that is another side built, but we have a problem. You see, this is all the gravel I have left, and this is all the sand I have left. Yeah, that ain't gonna be enough to complete the whole entire thing, I'm not even halfway done yet, so yeah. Let's go on a material gathering montage real quick. <laughs> Okay, so I've gathered a bunch of materials, I've got all the sand, terracotta and gravel, now I'll need for the rest of this build. Okay guys, but before we do do any more building, I think it's time we add someone to the Hall of Fame. And this time, sadly, I do not have my brother here, but the person that's going to go on the Hall of Fame in this episode is CL underscore 72. Let me also give you a blue die and your glowing sack, and there we go, another person has been added to the Hall of Fame. And if you guys want to be in the Hall of Fame, all you guys got to do is comment below your YouTube usernames and whatever die you want to put on your sign, and next episode, I'll choose someone else, and I literally might just be you. Alright, let's get back to building. And that's three out of the four sides now complete. Which means we only have one side left to do. So let me just quickly build it. Bonk! And there we go. All the sides are now done. Except the top, obviously. But I think it'll be easy to build the iron farm first inside of here and then build the roof just so I can get into it better. But before I get into all of that, guys, there is one last thing I want to do to this. And that is to add some white concrete powder pixels right here. Just add a bit more texture to it. So, yeah. And boom! There we go. I think that little bit of detail right there just makes it even better. But now guys, it's finally time we build the actual iron farm. So I'm going to head back to the base and I'm going to grab all the materials that I need. Okay, and I think this is everything that I'm going to make to make the entire farm. So in here I have all the cobblestone that I'm going to make like the actual farm out of. You're not going to be able to see it, so it doesn't really matter. And I've also got some lava buckets, water buckets, 20 beds, 20 selection tables chests and hoppers. I was about to say let's go build it but I thought I need one more thing and that is carrots to breed the villagers. And now let's go build it. The first thing I'm going to do is go right into the middle and this is where like a room will be for the villagers. Okay guys so this is the room built. I've just got fletching tables here, fletching tables here and some beds either side and this will be able to see where the 20 villagers will go. Also better place some torches in here before mobs start spawning. That would be bad. And I think before I do anything else, I'm just going to start breeding the 20 villagers in here. So let me find a quick village nearby and steal some villagers. Well here's one villager and here is another one. Just need to get them in the same boat somehow. There we go. You guys are coming with me. Oh poop. Okay guys, so getting villagers on that village was pretty difficult, so I've decided to get him for my base because I have a bunch of spare villagers running around, so. Okay, I've got two villagers in the boat. The plan is I'm going to send them through that portal, and there's a portal at the creeper farm. I'll get out of there, and I'm just going to use my light to glide with them to the iron farm. What could possibly go wrong, am I right? Okay, the villagers are in. Nice. Okay, now we put them back in the boat. Okay. And now we just sort of glide over there. Come on, please work. Oh, attempt number two. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no, I don't like this. Oh, I've just chucked him in the ocean. Oh, okay. I guess that works too. Okay, we've got him inside of the iron block, so I guess that's something. <laughs> just gotta get him up there somehow. But hopefully, when it turns night time, they'll just run up here and try to get to their beds. Oh, for f oh, you're really joking me. So he's just decided to run off the edge. Well, at least we have one of them in here right now. Yes. Go. Go. Come on, you can make it. You can make it. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. Keep going. To the top. Go, go, go. 
Go. Yes. Yes. Come on. You can make it. Let's go. <laughs> uh, finally, we have them both in here. One more last thing, guys. Here's a load of carrots. Now make me some babies. I can see love hearts coming through the floor. Now when I do have 20 villagers, the iron golems are going to be spawning up here. Let's place slabs up here so they can't spawn on top. Now we need water at the back. So this is what I've got so far, guys. Iron golems will spawn up here. They'll fall down in this water. And I'll just be like a little lava kidding system right here with hoppers underneath. And I'm going to build like a room which connects right there. And you just come in and there'll be like some chests with all the loot. So let's now place down the lava. Okay guys, it's been a little while. But I've now built the full collection system for this farm. So this is like the little room that you enter in at the front here. And I did have to adjust like where the iron columns spawn a little bit. But now it's all working. And yeah. Also put a load of stabs up here so no pops can spawn. But let's see how the villagers are getting on. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> you two have been busy in here. Just gotta wait until they all grow up and then this farm should work. They're just like, yep, we've done our duties. <laughs> but guys, we are not done yet with this thing. Because we've still got to fill in this roof. So, yeah. Just got to turn all this concrete powder into concrete because it'll just fall down into the ocean. Yes, look at that, guys. As I'm building this, I look down and look. The first iron golem. Let's see if this works. And he's dying, so yeah, it does work. We now officially have a working iron farm. Anyway, back to building this. Okay guys, and here are the final eight blocks. It's the entire iron block. Boom! That means the entire iron farm is officially built. I just need to get rid of this little thing down here. And now, I'm gonna FK here for a very long time. As you can hear, the iron golems are now dying. This is a very successful episode. We finally have an iron farm, which means we don't have to worry about mining iron anymore. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys next episode where I have a few more guests joining me. Hopefully they won't die. I'll make sure they won't die. I'm going to protect them. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.